Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on Postman from Software Testing Help and in this tutorial we will learn about importing and exporting a collection and request into various code snippets. As part of the agenda we will see general concepts around Postman collections like creating a collection, how you can import and export it and how you can execute a collection using the collection runner. We will see how you can export and import the individual Postman requests as code snippets in terms of different languages that Postman supports like exporting a request as curl or importing a Postman request from curl etc. So let's get started. So I have a Postman console application open. We'll get started with adding a new collection. To do that you can simply create a collection by clicking this button. Let's add the name of collection i'll say my first collection now there are other different tabs there in the collection initializer i'll say sample collection as the description there are other tabs like authorization information that is the authorization mechanism for all the requests inside the collection others are like pre-request scripts and tests these are nothing but scripts that apply to individual scripts that are present in the collection and finally it's collection level variables that can be defined here which could be used by all the requests that are present in this collection. So let's hit create and we'll see an empty container or an empty collection that gets created and collection is nothing but it's a group of requests. It's a, an empty container to hold postman requests. There is also a concept of folders and it's compared, you can compare it to the actual file system that you have in your desktop or laptop. So a file system can have like multiple folders or directories and each individual folder can again have folder and finally a folder can have file. So those files can be contrasted as postman request whereas all the directories and subfolders are comparable directly to the concept of folders in Postman. So if I click add folder, I'll name it as folder one. Again, it provides other options like authorization that applies to all the requests inside that folder, pre-request scripts and tests that apply to requests inside that folder, I'll say create. So I have folder one. Now inside this I can create another folder or I can simply add a request. So let's add a request. I'll add a request say get user. Gets user with a given ID is the description. I'll say save. So now you can see that there is a get user request that get saved in the folder one of my collection. So let's define this request. We'll use the request.in fake data API that is publicly available. And I'll just define a get endpoint here. Let's try hitting send. And we can see that we get the response for this. Similarly, let me add one more folder here to the collection. Let's name it as folder two. And let's add a new request here say register user registers a user with given data suppose now this is a post type of request let's see the request body from this endpoint website that is request.in and see register successful the request endpoint is api slash register and body in json is this to add json body select raw and data type as json paste that body and let's try clicking send and yes now we can see that the request is successfully configured so now what we have is a collection that has two folders folder one and folder two each of them having one request that is get user and register user respectively. So that is our first collection. Now let's see the concept of importing and exporting a collection. So collection exported 
format is nothing but a simple JSON representation of this entire collection. In order to export the collection, you can directly click for more action these three ellipses dots and select export. There will be three formats listed. We'll let the default selection be effective that is collection v2.1 i'll say export and let's name the file as sample collection.json and it is saving in my file system and downloads and i'll say save you can see that there is a prompt that says collection was exported successfully let's see how this collection looks through a terminal prompt You can see here that it's in JSON format representation and it has lots of different information like name, schema, what are the items like folder, request. Essentially, it's nothing but a JSON representation of this entire collection. So that's how export works. You can simply export the collection and share it with other users and things like that. So that's about export. Now let's see what we can do with importing a collection. To import a collection of requests, simply click import and it provides a lot of options. Import file means you can import the collection directly using a JSON. So suppose if you share this JSON file with someone and they want to import that JSON file as the Postman collection, they can directly use that JSON file from their file system and import it you can import it through folder through a web link or url or directly through pasting the raw text of the json so let's try this option i have a sample json that's available for a collection i'll simply paste that json here and i'll say import and we can see there is a new collection that got generated which is called sample postman collection and it has three requests from postman eco api so that's how simple a postman collection is it's nothing but a json and you can simply import and export it using this import tab or import window options so that's about importing and exporting collections let's come to importing an individual request now here in order to export individual postman requests as code we can simply use this code button here beneath the request builder and on clicking this code you can see that by default curl language is selected and it gives you the curl version of this postman request that we have here in the postman console similar to this it provides out of box support for a lot of different languages and you can directly select any language code which you want so it's for the purpose where you as a developer want to implement or integrate an api that's there in postman collection and you want to generate the code in the language of your choice suppose i select the ok http client of java here you can see that it initializes an ok http client object it builds the client or builds the request and you can finally get the response in the response object by executing the request similar to this there are other languages like c sharp is there node.js is there ruby is there python is there and so on and so forth for now we'll use the curl version and we'll try executing this on the command line or command prompt and see whether we get the result. I'll simply paste it and hit enter. We can see there is some garbage data coming in here. This might be due to some particular header that Postman added by default. So here the typical header is encoding gzip deflate which curl is trying to use and encode so if i remove this header and copy the rest of the code just clear the console 
and we can see that we get the response in JSON format. Similarly, if we want to import this request rather than export, so import is essentially you have a request in the form of curl or Java HTTP client object and you want to create it in the postman, you can simply use that request snippet and import it as a postman request. So suppose I want to use or import the same request in a different collection. I'll just copy this curl. Let's go to sample collection and I'll click import. Now again importing as we saw in collection it can be done for file or folder or directly through a link and we can paste raw text as well. If I click import here you can see that there is a new request that gets imported with URL as this and the headers that were part of that curl snippet. So that's how easy it is to import and export the request through the Postman console with an out of box support for lots of different and important languages. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.